Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depends obviously where you are. Mike here from Upload Academy. Today, I just wanted to address a question that I saw on Reddit. Why do DevOps get paid significantly more than sysadmins? I thought this was a good question because it sort of brings up two points that I am somewhat passionate about. So the first one is, of course, real job titles. So DevOps isn't a job title. So I just want to make that very, very clear. DevOps is, a, is a, a cycle that businesses go through to plan software, develop the software, deploy the software, package it, sorry, package the software, then deploy the software. They go through the whole cycle, they monitor, the observer, they iterate, and they just keep going and keep going and keep going. It looks a little bit like this, what we can see on screen here. So you plan it, you create it, you verify it, you package it, you release it, you configure it, you monitor it, and then you just keep going around. But if you look at the, going back to the original question, if you look at the experience scale, systems administrators are generally more junior than systems engineers, senior systems engineers, which is what you would call DevOps. So a junior systems engineer, you're looking at sort of around the zero to one year, so they're brand new through to a year. Then you sort of transition into a, a, just a systems administrator when you're around that one to three year cycle. And then you can see that I've got on the page, systems engineers are sort of, you sort of become a junior systems engineer around the three to four mark. Then you're a systems engineer when you're at the four to six, and then you become senior systems engineer at the six to 10. And I've put in quotes there, DevOps, because what that effectively means is when you get to that sort of senior systems engineer point in time, you're at the point where you have enough experience where you can actually build what you would call DevOps pipelines. So if we look at that cycle again, you can you can configure the packaging, the releasing, the configuring, the monitoring. You can help with the planning. You can do the ideation around how the software should be built, what what technologies should be used, et cetera, et cetera. And that takes time and experience. And that's why they get paid more. So if we also look at the bottom end of the spectrum there, you've got your senior systems engineer, again, in quotes, DevOps, six to 10 years, and then you've got your principal engineers and your architects are sort of 10 plus years experience and the reason for that is because they've sort of been there and done it and that is primarily why they get paid more but there is another small trick as to why they get paid more something that you've got to remember they they help automate away business processes that cost the business money they cost the business money for multiple reasons but primarily because of failure rates and because of time to market and the whole the whole cycle that is devops re heavily reduces failure rates and time to market which means that operational costs drop down. And when operational costs drop down, the price for the consumer drops, or it doesn't, and the profit for the shareholders increases. That is very, very valuable to businesses. It's simple economics. And that is why someone who's a DevOps engineer, quote unquote, DevOps engineer, makes more money than a systems administrator. No one saying system administrators are useless or aren't worth anything, don't really have a place, that they are critical. Systems administrators keep things running. Systems engineers build and implement new systems. They explore new things, and that takes time and experience to learn how to do that. And that's why they earn more. Simple as that. Hope that answers the question.